Hi guys! Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! How is everybody's Sunday? Let's do a sleigh face, y'all. I am going to um, a Christmas laser show across the street from my house in a couple hours. And I really want to slay. I've already put my makeup on once today. So we're just, I washed my face. I blew out my hair and we're gonna do it again. Why not, right? Let's just do it. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera. Technical di difficulties, technical difficulty, y'all. There we go. I feel like that's a little better. What do you think? What do you think? How is everybody's day? I am, I put some rose water that I have in little bottles so they're just easier to access. I feel like rose water should be everybody's go-to. I know it's my go-to because as you can tell, I'm pretty red, pretty red today. It's also good for discoloration, which I think some of this is just makeup, to be honest with you. That's okay. We're just going to cover it up. We're just going to cover it up, y'all. <clears throat> I know who goes before me. Look at me trying to be all chippy with the camera. We'll get it. <laughs> How's everybody's day? All right, well, let's get into it. I think I'm gonna put on the ColourPop Land. This is Papaya Face Milk. I got it in the Candyland um, package from a Facebook group. We did a raffle and I got it all for free. It also came with a really cute, um, really cute eyeshadow palette. I was told by a esthetician, is that how you say it? A person who deals with skincare, is that an esthetician? That you should moisturize, prime, add your primer by going up, up with it and not down. So um, they say that if you go up, it gets into the skin. If you go down, it's taking it away from the skin. I'm almost out of this primer, but I have some more coming. This is a silicone base primer. It is from Pharmacy. It is camera ready. Um, silicone base, we all know what silicone does. It fills in all your big pores, all your imperfections. I mostly focus on my T-zone, especially my nose and my forehead, because I feel like that's where um, the big pores are and that's my focus areas and like my chin. Um, the outer areas on my face are pretty good. I love the way that it stuff smells and it's super soft. Super duper, super soft. And it gives you that camera finish, that filter finish, you know? Okay. Now I'm gonna come in with my, that is not what I'm coming in with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows, my eyes and then my eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm gonna come in with my bisque. I think that's how it's called, bisque. B-I-S-Q-U-E, bisque. Um, concealer, it has a pink salmon tone to it, which I think really does good with the discoloration under my eyes. Um, you always want to do one to two shades lighter than your foundation when you conceal. But I do like, I like this one. It works really good. Really, really good. So as you know, I am new to the YouTube world. And I guess I could start answering some questions, right? Let's do a little Q&A. Um, I will be 36 January 17th. Um, my 30s have been super amazing. My daughter is 16, soon to be 17. 
um, and she's amazing. She's my one and only. Kids make me want to lock myself in the closet and cry. They are a blessing. I'm not saying they're not a blessing, but, and I love my daughter. I would never, ever, ever, ever give her away or I don't feel any type of way, but I definitely wasn't supposed to be a mother of a lot of kids. Excuse me, y'all, y'all are gonna hear me sniffle. I was watching a movie earlier and I went to church today and I saw my mom. Backstory, I moved out of my house at 14 years old. Um, me and my mom, did not have a really good relationship and we're still trying to build it years and years and years later what 22 years later but God is a healer and a restorer so I have faith that everything will work out but I've been crying like a baby because that's just who I am I'm a crier <laughs> so disrespectful right just blowing your nose on camera Jana just blow your nose if I knew how to edit it, I would, y'all. But I don't. And I'm learning. So we're just going to go with it. Um, I'm going to Starbucks on a couple of days from today on Wednesday to meet a friend of mine. And she is also a vlogger with YouTube. She is a fashion diva. You should definitely follow her on YouTube. Check her channel out. It's Reggie's Closets. I will try to link it. If I can link it, I'm gonna try to link it. If not, she'll comment on this video and y'all will see her, okay? All right. I am gonna come in with my... Good question, Jenna. What are you gonna do now? My Instant Lift Brow Pencil by e.l.f. It was, I think it was like three bucks at the Kohl's. If you don't have a Kohl's, y'all, oh my god, I love Kohl's. I like this. This is in the color taupe or tape or top. However you say it, I need a, um, a mirror for this. <coughs> and I'm just going to fill in my brow and try to give it that lift. That extra little arch, you know? To the darkness. Okay, so where did I lift? Oh, I am about to be 36. I am single. Ooh, yeah. Team single. And I love it. Um, Growing up, my childhood was messy. So it being messy, I didn't... I felt like I had to earn my worth by having other people love me. And that's not what you do, boo. You got to love yourself first. But I didn't learn that until my 30s. So I was always in and out of relationships because I thought if I was in a relationship, somebody would love me and I would feel worthy. No. So now I'm single and I'm loving myself. And it is the first time in my entire life I have been alone and not in a relationship with a man. And most days, um, it'll be a year. It'll be a year, January 17th. Um, let my ex tell ya, it's been over a year, but we're not gonna go there. He's now married, he's doing great. And I'm so happy for him. His wife is beautiful and I'm, I'm so grateful and happy that it worked out the way that it did because, you know, we shouldn't wish ill on other people. And if it didn't work out with us, you know, or if you had a relationship where you really thought this is the one, like this is the one, um, and then it didn't work out and then they go and get in another relationship and they marry this woman or man, and you're like, what's wrong with me? Why didn't they marry me? What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Um, you just weren't for that person. And that's okay. But please, you guys, don't be bitter. Don't wish ill on anyone else. Because everyone has a battle that they're battling. And I feel like, and I always tell people this. That you can be the person to either push somebody off the bridge or you can be the person to bring them back from the bridge. Be the person that does not make them jump, y'all. 
you don't know why this person is the way that they are. I mean, they might be not treating you well or whatever, but please don't wish ill on anybody. Please try to be the light in every situation, even if the person doesn't <laughs> necessarily at that moment, they're not treating you right. So you feel like they don't deserve your, your being nice to them, but still be nice. Okay. I hope that made sense. I'm a little all over the place. That's just who I am. Okay, let's get to this eye. So I recently went to a website. It's um, Shop, no, Shop Miss A. Yeah, shopmissa.com. Um, and I got this AOA Perfect Blush in the color Euphoria. And that's how it looks. And I really want to use this in my shadow look today. I'm waiting for my Glam Girl Pharmacy palette to get here. Um, so until it gets here, <coughs> I've been messing with some bright colors. Um, we have some creamy shadows too. in this Ulta Beauty palette, I don't even know what palette this is. 721301, I guess. That's a long number. And then it has like some glitter and some shadows. Um, so we're going to try this today. Did they say that these are correcting concealers? These purple, greens, and pinks. I wish I knew how to like color correct. Maybe we should try it. What do y'all say? Like, should we do this? Should we do this right now? What if I put, to get rid of bags and circles, what color do you put? Is it green? Should we do green? Does that get rid of the circles? Does that like lighten them up? I don't know y'all. Like I need comments. Somebody tell me what I can do to <coughs> help with these bags right now. Okay, so we need a transition color for the pink. I think I'm going to be using, mm, let's try this color here. It doesn't have a name, but this is the color we're gonna try. It's kind of like, uh, ooh, thank God I don't have my, my clothes that I'm wearing tonight on. It's kind of like a pink champagne shimmer. Um, I'm coming in with my Wet n Wild crease brush and I'm focusing my hand further away from the brush to give it, I don't wanna go too heavy. If you want a heavy color, you wanna focus your eyes, or excuse me, you wanna focus your hands closer to the brush. <coughs> Why do I feel like that's not a good color? I think I'm gonna mix them a little bit. What do you think? What do you think? How is it going? How does this look right now? We're just gonna keep going with it y'all i think it's okay i honestly think this is an okay color um to go with that pink so we're just gonna use this as the transition color um what else i have a dog i love rescues i found ruby girl she is 12 years old now she just turned 12 in september the first yeah september the first um, she's a rescue. She was with her owner since she was three. They were together for eight years and he passed away. God rest his soul. But basically he had, he had really, oh, I love this color, really bad health. And Ruby and him kind of just laid in bed together, vegging on TV. Um, and he would just feed her what he ate and lots of dog treats, like when I got her, besides the fact that she was still sad that she lost her owner, <coughs> he did. she literally did not eat for a week straight, almost two weeks. Uh, all she wanted <coughs> was junk food. Um, now she eats dog food, obviously, but she was on Facebook. His niece, <coughs> sorry y'all, his niece who lived on the same land with him, um, I'm gonna come in with my Pharmacy Rolls Gold Blush Brush, and I'm gonna be using a setting powder. Um, not a setting powder, excuse me, a 
they call it baking. And we're gonna bake underneath my eyes so that way, I, if I have fallout with my shadow, I can just kind of brush it away. I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. There is a reason. There is a method to my madness. Um, so, ooh. Another thing, I use baby powder because it's cheap and it smells good and it works. So she was on Facebook because her niece who <laughs> her uncle was the one that passed away. They lived on a lot of land. So she would, the niece who took her has three dogs of her own. Well, her three dogs didn't like Ruby. So Ruby literally had to stay in the sunroom. Now the sunroom was ventilated and it had like a window unit. So she wasn't like in, she was getting fed, but she was sad. She was just looking outside where she used to live and just Whoever says dogs don't cry is a lying. Dogs cry, okay? Um, so she would just look out the window and cry. So <coughs> his niece, who now has Ru uh, Ruby, just stay with me guys, catch up, okay? I'm coming in with this Euphoria Pink. Um, who now has Ruby, posts her on Facebook because at this point, her dogs don't like her, like Ruby. And they're barking and they're trying to bite Ruby and Ruby's old. So she posts Ruby on Facebook and she asked people if they would please adopt her. That she still has life in her. The whole backstory about how she just lost her owner. Um, all that stuff, okay? So at the time, I was working a lot of hours. And I thought it would be selfish of me to rescue another dog because she wouldn't get the love that I needed to give her, right? Um, but for months, Ruby was on Facebook. Like this lady legit was so persistent. Like nobody had gotten her yet. Nobody felt what, you know, that they could take on. Nobody, why doesn't anyone want older dogs? Older dogs are the bomb. They don't, they're not high energy anymore. She still has years of life left in her. She's still so playful. Like she has this football, it's a red football, and she just goes to town chewing on it. She'll play fetch. She's just an awesome dog, but nobody wanted her. And I'm assuming it's because she was an older dog. Um, and I'm sure it's gonna be rough whenever she does pass away, but that's not happening right now. Long story short, after months of seeing Ruby still on Facebook, nobody had adopted her. I just couldn't, I couldn't watch it anymore. Okay, y'all, what do you think? I feel like it should be brighter, um, but I need to think about this a little more, huh? What if I do like a halo glitter? Like, ooh, I think I have an idea. So this is a bronze pigment. <laughs> you can do a lot with pigment pigments. Like, you could put stuff on your nails to make them shimmer. There's so much you can do with pigments, including applying it on your eyes. I'm gonna come in with my crease brush, and I am going to spray it with some tom time locking spray. This time lock spray is a setting spray for your face and like to set your eyeshadow brushes, like if you put shadow on it. It's amazing. Um, I love it and it's cruelty free um, so I wrote her and I was like listen lady listen Linda I'm coming to get your dog like I'm gonna come adopt Ruby girl like Ruby girl needs a home right Ooh, yes yeah, see it just needed a little Shazam And the woman, Tina, by the way, her name is Tina, and we built a friendship. I send her pictures of Ruby all the time. Um, so she's like, really? She couldn't believe that, she, you know, I was actually serious about it. But supposedly, in between me writing her and following the story, Tina didn't post it on Facebook, but... Um, Ruby did find a home, okay? 
And it was a person who said that they didn't have another dog because she was like, she was adamant about Ruby not going to a home with another animal. Um, <coughs> ooh, that was a lot of powder. So supposedly they lied, right? Well, Ruby went there and Tina checked up on her and they had a Rottweiler. And now we're just gonna take this powder and we're gonna swish it away from our face. So that way if you have any fallout, it's not gonna get on you, you know what I'm saying? So she goes to check on Ruby and Ruby has a bite on her ear. It's not bad, but it's a bite, okay? And she just felt in her spirit that Ruby was not happy. You can feel when a dog isn't happy. So she told the lady that it was a trial period anyways, <coughs> and she was gonna take Ruby back. She didn't feel comfortable with Ruby being there, that they were not honest with her, saying they didn't have another dog, okay? And so I got Ruby. And I don't know about y'all, but if you're a dog lover, have you ever just had a dog? I've had plenty of dogs in my life, but Ruby is like my dog. She was made for me. She is so awesome, y'all. Okay, I am gonna come in with a contour. I'm going to be using <coughs> my e.l.f. contouring brush. I like it because it has that edge look. It's really flat, it's super cute. Um, and I'm gonna, should I contour or should I? Hmm, I'm gonna take my, okay, thanks, Jana. You haven't even done foundation, boo. Like, get it together. Sorry, y'all, talking about Ruby Girl, just, uh, she's just awesome. Okay, what color is this? That's two. I don't want two, I want three. Not this one, not this one. <coughs> not here we go. This is my <laughs> Pharmacy Flawless Touch Powder Cream in the color medium, or it's natural beige. It's 03, and I'm just gonna come in with my Wet n Wild foundation brush. I like this brush. It just works really good for me, and I don't have to clean it every day. Um, and this is like a cream. I am a foundation wearer. Wearer. I'm a foundation wearer something like that i love foundation don't get me wrong but i am in love with this powder cream right now it's really lightweight it does the trick like it covers the blemishes and it just works and it's again it's super duper lightweight and i don't like heavy foundation it's also phthalate free it's cruelty free um they don't test on plants they don't use plants in the process like they don't harm animals, um, phthalate free, paraben free, all those of those things. And it's European standards, meaning that they test for about 1300 toxins in a product before releasing it. Whereas the US only test for about between 100 and 300 toxins before putting it out on the market for people to buy. So that says a lot about Europe and their standards of care when it comes to makeup, right? And I like that it's creamy, but it finishes powdery. But it's still like a smooth powder. Like you wouldn't even know. Okay, I'm feeling really bright today. So I'm gonna come back over with my Flawless Touch <coughs> Terracotta Highlighting Powder. I don't know why I just showed you the lid. Like, <laughs> this is it. It is a high highlighter powder. Um, it's amazing. And I'm gonna be using my Blush Pharmacy Brush. I really like this brush. It's rose gold. It's super awesome, and I'm just gonna go all over my face with it. It's gonna give it that extra oomph, that highlight that I love. I love to shine. 
shine bright like a diamond. Right, right. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna come in with my AOA Highlighting Velour color. This color is called For You, the number four and the letter U. Um, this came off the Miss shopmissa.com and it's creamy but it finishes powdery i'm going to just use that as my highlight so the cupid's bow the tip of my nose and i like to do it right here at the like the bone of the brow like where your brow bone meets i really like that i like to do right here and then like a little razzle dazzle on the forehead. Just a little extra oomph. And then we're gonna do right here. Yes, y'all, I love to shine, okay? I like to glisten. <clears throat> All right, so back with our contour. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. contour brush, and I'm gonna come in with my Peach Bite Palette by Pharmacy. This is a great contour palette. You can also use it as a lipstick and an eyeshadow. I'm gonna come in with this peachy color here. Now, you know what, I am gonna use the darker color, the brown, and whenever you contour, you wanna just sculpt your face, so you want to raise it and give it definition, give it that shadow. So I'm gonna go about here with it, okay? And then I'm gonna do it here. I want to go up here with it that way I basically do it where I want my my forehead to end to give it the shadow and then I go right underneath the neck to give it the shadow effect and you want to go underneath your chin because I have a double chin so it works for me and then you just blend it out You don't want to blend too hard because it'll take it away. But you want to blend enough to where it doesn't look like you just have like brown spots on your face, I guess you could say. Okay, so I've had Ruby for, I haven't even had her for a year yet. And, well, I guess, has it been a year? I think it has been a year. <laughs> And she's amazing, so I have a dog. I I am single. I have a daughter who will be 17 soon. I love makeup, as you can tell. I love Jesus. He is my Lord and Savior. Um, I'm an extroverted introvert, meaning I rechar recharge by being by myself. But I do love people. But when I'm around people, I give them, like, everything I have. So I have to recharge by myself. You understand what I'm saying? I hope you do. <clears throat> Surrounded by your glory. Oh, and I love to sing. For you, Jesus. And now I'm going to come in with my, that is not what I need, my contour stick. I like the stick, the liquid, when it comes to my nose. So I'm going to use my pharmacy contour stick. And I do the sides of my nose. And I do like around it. So it gives it like that button nose look. Oh, and... 
<clears throat> you can also like go right underneath your bottom lip to give it that like bigger lip look. And then I have a highlighting stick as well. And I'm gonna go up with that. <laughs> and then you're also gonna blend that out. And I'm gonna blend it out with my foundation brush. Ta-da. Alright. <clears throat> so if you have small eyes or you have tired eyes or if you just want your eyes to look bright and awake, get you a white pencil liner. This is an Express Pharmacy pencil liner and of course the color white. I put it right here on my waterline. I think I'm going to go back with the Euphoria um, and a smudge brush. I feel like I need to make this pink more noticeable. Yeah, that's better. Like I was losing the pink because I put the bronze on, which I love the bronze, but I just needed to bring that pink back into the picture a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go underneath with the smudge brush with the pink. If you can hear, my dog is snoring in the background. Oh my God, it's like insane. She snores like an elephant, like straight up. Like, where you do that at? Where do you do that at? Um, I am from Charleston, South Carolina, born and bred, 843. Um, I do not plan on living here the rest of my life. I actually plan on leaving in the next four to five years. Um, it's time for me to go. I would love to visit all the states and I will visit all the states. I don't understand why the American dream is to get a 30 year mortgage to work the rest of your life to come home to a house that you have to claim. That's just not my dream. Um, but here in America, I feel like that's what they have made everybody believe that that's what we should do. Um, and I don't think that's the way to go. However, whatever floats your boat, what makes you happy. But I want to get a camper and I want to travel the world. So, because I have such a bold eye, I am going to be super light with my lipstick. I'm just going to apply some Carmex. And let me think about that. So while I'm thinking about that, we're gonna be using two different mascaras. This is Big Ego by Tarte. Um, I got this free. And then I have my Pharmacy Zen Mascara. I love this mascara. It is literally, retails at $8.90. Um, but I get it for half of that. If you join the discount club, you can get it for half of that the rest of your life too. It's amazing. I feel like my uh, mascara is not gonna look the best today because I've already applied it once. And when I was removing it, I was really rushing. 
Um, and I don't think that I got all of it off my lashes. But I love this um, mascara because it is super bendable. Like, it's so bendable. Like, look at that. You can just bend it. And it has um, bristles, short bristles on one side and long bristles on the other. So you can get the length and the volume. So I really like that. And then Big Ego by Tarte. I like this one because the brush says it all. It just gives you that thick volume like that fake lashes look. And because I went so bold on my eyeshadow, I feel like I should have a fake lash um, look. Ooh, no. I did not know that had something on here. <coughs> Ooh, bless me, child. Bless me. Bless you, child. All right, hold on, y'all. Freeze for one moment. Let me just fix my, my, um, my face. I got mascara everywhere. I don't know if I should have used that, but that's okay. That's okay. I really think I need to go see a dermatologist. I am getting like these, I don't know if you can see. You see that? Like, what are these things? It's almost like it's a skin tag, but I don't know why I'm getting them. But, you see that volume that the Big Ego gives you? And the length comes from that Zen Mascara. I don't feel like with this, you don't get the length, but you get the volume. And I, it tends to clump, and I don't like that either, but I love the volume that it gives you. Put that on my bottom. Okay, I promise everyone I will start getting lip liners. Everyone's like, Jana, you need to wear lip liners. So I'll work on it. Um, this is a liquid matte lipstick by Pharmacy. It's in the color six and it's called Superstar. It is a matte lipstick. So it stays all day and all night. However, if you let it dry to matte, like if you're doing what I'm doing, if you're putting the CarMax with it, it's not going to, it'll still last, but it's not gonna last as long, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm just gonna come in with my translucent powder, my pharmacy translucent powder. It's just white, but it goes on clear, like you don't see anything. So that way, um, if you, I'm a sweater, like I sweat, like I'm sweating now underneath my nose and my lip. So this helps keep your face from sweating or if you're oily on your forehead, it will stop that too. Okay, so that is the final look. What do you think? How did I do? I think I did pretty well. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. If you have any questions, if you have some more Q&A for me, please let me know. And if you like this live video, let me know too. Make sure you like it and you subscribe. Love y'all.